I want to start by saying I saw the movie yesterday and uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was. Uh, I had heard it was good, and uh, it was. And, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, one of the things about it, though, is uh, it, it's like every twenty minutes, I'm constantly saying "WTF." Right. Like it's constantly making you wonder what the hell is going on. Yeah. So I'm curious for both of you. Uh, how were you sort of were you told the story and like, or how much was it like your you, people telling you just read the script and you being like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I mean, would you like to? I, uh, for me, I, I, I had the audition, so I had the script along with the audition. And as soon as I opened it and started reading, I was immediately immersed into what it could possibly look like. And it was a complete page turner. I mean, the movie is beautiful on its own, but so is the script. I think the script is written so wonderfully. And I, I just I couldn't put it down. And I, I loved watching the character development. It seemed like these two girls on these roller coaster rides that are like intertwining but going other ways. And um, then you find out that the whole thing connects at the very beginning, but you didn't see. Like, it's honestly, it was a fantastic experience reading it. So performing it was, you know, ex exponentially that much better. Yeah, I think my, my experience was a text from Richard Shepard, who I had worked with on Girls for six years, who says, I'm having a script delivered to you, like the hard copy. I was like, what is this, old Hollywood? This is very exciting. And he said, I'm having a script delivered to you. It's insane. Call me as soon as you finish it. And I was like, oh, God, if you think it's insane, and you think I'm going to think it's insane, it's going to be insane. And sure enough, it was. I couldn't put it down. I just read it in one sitting. I was wrong about every prediction I made in the margins with my pen about where I thought it was going to go, which I thought was a great sign. Then I called him after afterwards and I was like let's do it I've got to do it I've got to figure out who Charlotte is I've got to play her I've got to be part of this I was gonna say when I was watching it because we've all seen a million movies and it's like you constantly think you know where it's gonna go and in the first 30 minutes I was dead wrong oh yeah always <laughs> I mean every yeah, everything I thought was completely wrong good yeah it's humbling right yeah. I mean I, the whole time <laughs> in the script I was like I know this genre I'm pretty good at this now I'm hip to these little plot twists and I was like oh my god I've never been so wrong and then I kept being wrong and then I just yeah there's stuff you miss and then the second time you see it it just seems like how could I not have seen where this was going um, but I, I that is so much fun for me and especially when you're dealing with subject areas that people struggle to figure out how to talk about in a non-literal way by t putting it in this genre, you get to completely spin it on its head and just have a totally different kind of conversation in a different context about this stuff. And I'm being very vague on purpose, but hopefully when <laughs> people, people have seen it and then watch this and read it, it will make sense. Uh, yes, there's so much I would love to dive into, which I cannot we'll do it again. touch on. We're gonna stay here, <laughs> we're gonna stay right here, and then we'll you can come back and we'll talk about it with right, spoilers. Exactly, uh, so I would imagine making this must have been crazy and fun, and what's like a day or two that you will always remember? The bus. The bus, yeah. The bus, <laughs> Shanghai, I would say I remember, except we were so jet lagged the whole time we were there that it was like, it felt like a dream at the time. But the bus was hardcore. The bus was hard because we had a skeleton crew. We had the other actors on the bus. It's and not literal skeletons. Just in a Game of Thrones world, I feel like <laughs> yeah. we, okay, yeah. we just you have specify. to clarify those things. They were regular flesh and blood human beings. Real people. But there was a smaller number of them is what, is what we mean <laughs> Thank by you that. For that. people who are watching might clear. that. Yeah, there you go. Um, and actual bus, you know, we're, we're yeah. filming. It's actually bumping around. And I remember one of the hardest things we did was, um, I don't know if it was that we took a break in the day or came back on another day, but just having to stop everything that momentum that we were building. I think it's probably lunch and then us yeah, coming back and it's like, eating. all right, and we're just going back into the part where you're, and I'm just screaming at each other. Yeah, it was, that's the bus really was difficult. very, very intense. Um, Oh, so, oh, remember Richard? Richard had like a little, so they couldn't be seen. You know, we're filming the whole bus. So I know. We had, I've been like, trying to, do we say that? I don't know. Will people be able to, there are Easter, I think we talk about those little Easter eggs later. I didn't say anything. Yeah, I think we're going to talk about that later because there are some very funny ways that we were able to achieve the bus, and there's another there's another okay. way that I think okay. is very funny as well. But I don't think we should say it. I, I understand. I don't want to get you guys in trouble. Yeah, exactly. There, there's there's a lot of spoilers you could discuss in this thing and really break it down. And I wish I've said it now twice. Again, we'll I don't be want here. them to cut me from the film. Right? Yeah, we'll just be here. That would be just, so you know. possible. <laughs> that um, would look make me look even more insane. Just like yeah, boy. <laughs> One of the things, though, the movie's about an hour and a half, and it flies, and it doesn't feel like there's any wasted time. Oh, that's but, so good. But talk a little bit, were there deleted scenes? Was there stuff that you remember that didn't make the final <laughs> cut? There are a few little moments, but nothing major. The tub. The what? The tub. The tub. <laughs> I like oh. the <laughs> Sorry, like we're not mic'd. Like just mouth whisper it to me. Um, yes, but uh, it was stuff that ended up being 
yeah. unnecessary. And in the name of keeping it feeling like you're on a moving bus, like the movie is just happening whether you like it or not, and it's speeding along and you kind of don't have time to assess it. Anything that disrupted that momentum either had to be completely deliberate and like we wanted everything to come to a screeching halt for a second or had to go because it just is about momentum. And um, I think I think Richard did a beautiful job of figuring out where to cut the fat. Um, and there were scenes added that we realized after he cut the whole thing, he, he realized, you know, there are parts of the the chain that are missing to make this a whole film for the characters. And so we went back and added some things, which I'm so glad we did Me because too. I think it really rounds out the story that we're telling. And you'll never know what they were. We won't exactly. tell you. My last thing for you. Um, uh, do you remember, there's a completely different question. Do you remember your first movie or TV show crush? Han Solo. Not even, oh like, I don't have, I don't even By have By the way, that was very fast. It's so in my bones and it's so on the surface still to this day, but the love, at, well, in non-animated <laughs> was Han Solo. I guess Stefan and Urkel in, in Family Matters, I guess. I can't really remember, but oh, like. I remember. But then kind of Steve, because I'm like, wait, Steve is turning into Stefan. That's a plot twist. I think that's when I probably started liking, like, engineers as, like, my for my boyfriends, I was like, ooh, are you going to turn into yeah, something else? Yeah, that's when I started dating machine? pilots of impossible <laughs> old aircraft. <laughs> um, do you, is there a TV show that you'd love to guest star on? Oh, Game of Thrones would have been so fun. Oh, yeah. I just want to be on a horse. Can someone just put me on a horse? I'm just dying to be on a horse in a corset, and it just seems like the Brits just won't accept me, and I get it. There's a very American vibe, but I would do anything. Just olden times, fireplace, horse, corset, I do like that world. I don't know if you've read um, Children of Blood and Bone yet, but like that, it's basically like the African female version of Harry Potter. So like in anything like that would be dope. Yeah. Yes, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I was going to say, I haven't read it yet, but I really mean it. Congratulations on this movie. Thank Thought you. Thought it was so Thank well you. done. You guys have a fantastic day. Good luck with the rest of the press. Thank, Thank you. you.